Saturday, September 7th, 2013, running commentary number 2046. So, Game of Thrones, the HBO show that so many have come to love, myself included, and uh, has, has made some recastings. One of them is Darion Harris, the, uh, the mercenary who betrayed his friends and uh, joined Daenerys Targaryen. He, in the book, he's described much differently. This became a thing amongst fans that uh, he did not look like he should have. And, you know, it was established with Serio Farrell, or at least one would have hoped that they would have established, like, kind of this Mediterranean look for the free cities, or at least, uh, you know, Bravos. Bravos would be kind of this... Um, uh, and, I, and and some of the other places, too, like Tyrosh and... Uh, um, but, yeah, but that didn't happen. Instead, they get guys like, um, uh, like the Titan of Bravos. Obviously, is like a, a dude with a, a clearly not much more English, a very English guy, uh, to play the Titan of Bravos, or is Cyril Farrell, that actor who is, who is British but is of like Medi- Greek descent, and and affected a sort of uh, Mediterranean type accent for that. Okay, so that aside, let's talk about the mountain, uh, Gregor Clegane. The mountain that rides in the book, he is described in the book as like eight feet tall, enormous, impossibly large. Of course, the mountain that rides. So the mountain that sits atop of a horse. And uh, the first choice for casting was Conan Stevens. And we saw him in in, uh, season one. And and really, I don't know that you could have... He was kind of like the perfect casting. Because in real life, he's like seven feet tall, very muscular, and had a great face and everything looked like uh, believable as Rory McCann, the, the actor who plays Sandor Clegane, the hound looked very believable in that role. Um, sadly, and well, sort of sadly, he got cast in the Hobbit and that took him away from game of Thrones, which is, I mean, like it's, it's trading one uh, fantasy for the other. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of crossover between fans. So, um, so he was replaced by, and I'm looking at the Game of Thrones wiki here to help me out, Ian White. Ian White, who was in season two. Um, and, and I saw him, I, did not, I was unaware that, that the, the role was recast, but when I saw him, I said, he looks an awful lot lankier now. And, and this is the thing, to have a seven-foot-tall guy who was uh, proportionately muscular is, is a very difficult thing to find. So this guy was much more just kind of tall and lanky. And that kind of bothered me <laughs> because, um, cause as I said, I loved the fact that Conan Stevens looked like a, an enormous freakish human being, which is what you need for that part. So the, the part has been recast again. So for the third time, it's like every time you see the mountain, he's played by a different actor. It's almost like a joke now. It's like I was saying that uh, I, I miss, I did it wrong on Twitter, but what I was trying to say is that Gregor Clegane is to Game of Thrones what drummers are to Spinal Tap. It's like there's just you have a new one every every few weeks. So the new um, actor to play the mountain is, and I'm going to slaughter his name here. I think Hafpor Julius Bjornsson, who is a, a Norwegian bodybuilder, and he's six foot nine. Good, good, good height, six foot nine. Because Rory McCann, I think, is like six foot six. He's also a very tall man, as the hound should be. And, um, <laughs> but here's the deal. He's 24. He's 24 years old. And, uh, Rory McCann, I think, is, like, closer to 50. And, and, and the Hound is supposed to be the younger brother of the two. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll make him up. But in, in the coming, uh, this coming season, the, the Mountain does play a rather prominent role. So, it's important. He's a very important character in this season. And I'm sure hoping that the actor delivers. Uh, he, I think he looks suitable <laughs> just looking at the pictures. But again, he's, he's like, he's a kid. He's like 24 years old. So, um, but yeah, so there you go. The joys of casting Game of Thrones. So until tomorrow, have a good one and I'll talk to you later.